The Golden State squad coming through the tunnel earlier with the Warriors faithful anxiously awaiting their arrival on the court. Hello and welcome to Sunday Night NBA Action here on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson, Coach Dan Van Gundy, Hall of Famer Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce round out our broadcast crew for this one. And of course, the season is still young, but a great time to look at our Rookie of the Year list. These are the guys making an immediate impact. You look at Dillingham, he has really come out of the gate hot with his debut season. Currently in the third spot, but I could easily see him climbing the rankings. He's gotten his rookie season off to a tremendous start. He deserves to be right up there near the top of the list. Yeah, well, look, he may have a couple of people ahead of him right now, but this guy's got great talent. You never know what can happen. Let's check out Minnesota's starting lineup. McDaniels and Towns make up the two forward spots. Conley and Ann are the one of the two. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Warriors, Wiggins and Green hold down the forward spots. Then there's Stephen Curry, then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Richardson in a two-guard. Well, it's fair to say we can expect a bruising battle between these two, Grant. Yeah, these are two teams that dare you to bring the ball at them. They both feast on the defensive side, so don't expect any scoring records broken in this one. Fires in the triple. With all eyes on Steph when he has the ball. His teammates find openings, and he finds them. Outside Edwards, back to Conley. Shoots over Curry. The shot by Conley. No good. Three on three. Wiggins for three. And the Warriors with another three. This demonstrates assertiveness. You know Wiggins is feeling it when he's rising and firing like this. Earlier, Allie LaFour spoke with head coach Steve Kerr. What'd you find out, Allie? And he said when you watch film on Carl Anthony Towns, his size is impressive. But when you're actually standing next to him, he looks a whole lot bigger. And he knows how to use that size on the blocks and on the perimeter, which makes him an especially tough cover. Brian? All right, appreciate it, Allie. Not really what we expected. You know he wants that one back. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Conley. Edwards looking for an opening. Go bear with it. Shot clock at six. Outside McDaniels. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors have gone two of three from the floor. Green with a screen on Conley. Here's Curry. Uses the glass on the layup. Love the intensity from Curry. Finding a way to work through the contest. Minnesota's gone one of two from three-point land so far. Outside Conley. Let's the three fly. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Davis with a screen on Conley. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Davis slams it home. Throw it AD's way, and he'll take care of the rest. A huge alley-oop target for his teammates. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Many teams try to play two bigs in their lineup but without success. Grant, what makes Minnesota different? You know, B.A., the fact that no matter who's in that rotation up front, one of the two bigs can stretch the floor. And then on the defensive side, they use their length to contest shots on the perimeter. Now here's McDaniels. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Curry against Conley. Back to Richardson. Takes the three. Gets rebounded by Minnesota. Victory eluded them the last time they faced the Warriors. Oh, my. It was a great game. It went down to the wire. Both teams gave all they had, but only one could come away satisfied. Yeah, this is the kind of game you come away thinking coulda, woulda, shoulda. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Now here's Richardson. 26 points for him last game against Minnesota. Got it. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. And Chris Finch has called timeout. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust.
chance for us here to check out the top passing teams in the league this past month. The Warriors, number one. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock, playing great team basketball. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Outside Conley. They're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, some of that's experience. Conley could feel the contact coming, braces for it, completes the play, and now goes to the line for one more. And the Warriors making a change here. Richardson's checked in. Now here's Curry. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Minnesota. This one for three. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. And now we've got an intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Heels checked in for Richardson. Number seven, Buddy. From deep, Conley. Davis with a rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Curry looking it over. And he's going for the oop here. And we think of Curry as a shooter first, but they're reminding us how good a passer he is. Timberwolves trail by five. Connolly with the ball. Six points for him. Edwards is doubled. Pass to McDaniels. Outside Conley. And it's blocked by Davis. In transition, here come the Warriors. Goes back up. And that's two points on the layup. And you really can't sleep on Davis's length, especially on the offensive glass. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the T-Wolves. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Oh my, it was a great game. It went down to the wire. Both teams gave all they had, but only one could come away satisfied. Yeah, this is the kind of game you come away thinking coulda, woulda, shoulda. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Well, their defense has been really impressive, especially the number of blocks they've managed to get. It's not easy to keep denying guys at the rim. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. Timberwolves trail by 10. Offensively, Carl Anthony Towns is one of the most well-rounded big men in the league, Grant. Yeah, maybe in league history, B.A. He's an elite three-point shooter, post score, and his passing is severely underrated. Well, this is why Edwards is a nightmare for defenses. He can drive right through you or pull you apart from range like this. Heel for three. It's rebounded by Minnesota. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. McDaniels passes to Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. And when it comes to establishing rotations at this stage, Stan, what's something you're zeroing in on? Well, you're just trying to figure out which lineups work the best together and trying to develop not necessarily a starting lineup, but a rotation that works for you and especially trying to determine what's your closing lineup. When it's on the line, who do you want to go to? Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Richardson comes in for Wiggins. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Anthony Edwards. Towns, a screen on heel. McDaniels from long range. Oh, he can't sink it. He's 0 for 3. The Warriors lead by 5. Here's the pick. Here's Richardson. And that makes him 3 for 4. He's looking good. Yeah, he makes it look so easy out there. 
The game comes naturally to him. Outside McDaniels. Back to Conley. Towns outside. Outside McDaniels. Towns, a screen on heel. Just four to shoot. McDaniels can't hit. He is really scuffling this quarter offensively. Perhaps a little frustration setting in. Here's Richardson. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Timberwolves trail by seven. Pass to Conley. Stan, just how much of a catalyst has Mike Conley been since the Timberwolves got him? Well, just listen to his teammates, Brian. They talk about leadership, the adult in the room, and he remains a very capable two-way player. First free throw is good. And when you look back at the 2023 draft, the Warriors got... Ty Conley from downtown. It's rebounded by Golden State. Yeah, you wonder what is he thinking right now? He's not shooting the ball well, and shots like that only hurt his team more. Setting the floor for the Timberwolves. Conley and Ann are the one of the two. Both of the towers out there for him. Cat at the four, Gobert at the five. And it's McDaniels in at the three. And Curry is always a threat to shoot which is why defenses sometimes get too aggressive guarding him. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. And Grant, the success of teams like the Timberwolves showing that size still matters. Yeah, in this pace and space era, that may have come into question just a bit. But size and skill combined has always been your best bet at winning. Moody's checked in for Richardson. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Outside Edwards. Back to Conley. There's the triple. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Kaminga with a screen on Conley. To the paint. Man, oh man, Kaminga with the easy bounce. Throws it down. Yeah, his athleticism more than makes up for his lack of size. Allows him to compete even against bigger guys. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Well, the Timberwolves, no doubt, a team to be reckoned with. Coach Chris Finch said, we come in every single night and compete. No matter what the circumstances are, we expect to win. We root for each other, so I feel like we have all the makings of a tough team. And they have reason to be confident, Allie. Thank you. And the upcoming schedule for the Minnesota Timberwolves. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Klay Thompson and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Thursday, they'll host the New York Knicks. And you know for that matchup with Atlanta, that's a game where you'd be surprised to see them lose. They'd have to have a really off night for them to get upset there. Both free throws good from Davis. Quite simply, AD is one of the most impactful players in the league. Can take over a game on both ends. Towns outside. Pass to Gobert. Now Conley. And he makes it on the layup. Conley's got 12 points. Yeah, not just a jump shooter. Conley is also adept at finding real estate close to the rim. Here's Curry. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. Yeah, they're being absolutely relentless. Building this lead in every way possible. Now here's Gobert. Coming off a 16-point game against the Golden State Warriors. And he was a monster on the... Get up, Anthony Edwards! Yeah, Edwards has some big bounce in his step. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. The Warriors lead by 11. Outside Curry. Davis, a screen. On the attack, Curry. Davis misses. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. Well, it's not easy to time that up. Just not quite in sync yet. 
There's a screen by Kaminga. And he's going for the lob. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. Taking a look at Minnesota. They love where they stand right now. First place. And checking out Golden State behind two games. Well, I think for the Warriors, they've just been relentless coming out of the gates. And what I love is that everyone is focused. You couldn't have asked for a better start. Yeah, and it's to no one's surprise. This is a well-run, well-coached organization. They have a strong culture. They're going to be a tough out for anyone. And Chris Finch has called timeout. He wants to give them a breather and talk things over. And some changes here for the Warriors. Jackson Davis has checked in for Anthony Davis. And Richardson subbed in for Moody. Inside. And there's Conley. That one's good. And the assist from Towns. Conley's got 14. They have no answer defensively inside. Back to Curry. Here's Richardson. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. And it's Conley with the ball for Minnesota. 11-point game. Looking ahead, they've got the Mavericks coming to town for their next one. That'll be the first of three games played at home. Oh, they get a hand on it. Pass to Richardson from deep three-point range. And Conley grabs the miss. Timberwolves trail by 11. Now here's McDaniels. Left side Conley. Three-pointer. Connects from downtown. Conley's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, look, Conley's known as a great passer, but he's also a fantastic three-point shooter. Releases from 15. Richardson, no good. Well, that's a miss you can live with. I expect they'll go to it again, especially if the defense continues to concede it. Stan, a late first-round pick in 2020. Jaden McDaniels, one of the top young two-way players in the league. Well, Brian, last season, he was rewarded with a big money extension. His play tailed off just a bit, but still a key player for them moving forward. That free throw, no good. And this is a star-driven league. But talk about the importance of role players, Grant. Oh, B.A., a lot of times they're the ones who carry the day. You know what you'll get from your stars, but when the X factor ignites, that can make the difference. Conley against Curry. Here's Richardson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his seventh assist here tonight. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Towns outside for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Right side Curry. Richardson for three. Gets it. He's six for ten and looking confident out there. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Yeah, for sure. He is just oozing confidence. Thinks every shot is going in. They should just keep running sets for him. Shot from 12. That one's wide left. The Warriors lead by 12. Curry passes to Kaminga. Back to Curry. And here's Richardson from behind the arc. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got his fourth rebound in this one. To the inside. McDaniels, that's good. A smart idea from McDaniels looking to convert inside. The three from Curry. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Towns has got five rebounds in the game. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Back to Daniels. There's a screen. Down low. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. A developing part of McDaniel's game that could elevate him to the next level. Curry passes to Richardson. And that's not going to go.
this is at the buzzer. And so it's the Golden State Warriors up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Uh, we just got after it. You know, it's the main thing, you know, we just try to make them uncomfortable, test everything, and, you know, we were converting on the other side. It's all about the effort. Back to you. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And for that game against the Thunder, don't let a lack of focus steal one from you. Overlooking lesser opponents, but well, that's when they come and they bite you. I overlook all opponents. In terms of what? Height? Confidence? Both? Don't even answer. I know the answer. And turning our attention to the first half of our game tonight, bit of a tough start for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They haven't been close with some of these threes. Does the rim look like it's moving to them? I mean, seriously, it looks like it's multiple rims out there. Aim for the middle one. Uh, at least that's what I've been told. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. What makes him an exciting player is the ultra-aggressive mindset that we saw over and over in the first half. Yeah, he hasn't been settling. He's getting to the rim, and that's him at his best. Wiggins and Green hold down the forward spots. Then there's Davis, then there's Stephen Curry, and it's Richardson in at the two. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Pass to Gobert. Now here's Edwards. Just five on the clock. Four, three. Oh, Edwards, money on the triple. And any decent look from distance, he's taking it. He has that locked-in mentality right now. Well, he's firing away with confidence from downtown. The defense better adjust to this and fast. Drains the triple. Curry's got 12 points in the game. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Edwards, no good. There's one principal reason why they're sitting on this lead. Rebounding. That Grant, despite the Warriors' success over the last decade, it hasn't always been this way for this franchise. Yeah, they didn't have many winning seasons before they got Steph, Clay, and Dre. And you know, B.A., from 1978 to 2012, they made the playoffs just six times. Well, we've seen this movie before. Edwards is rolling, and his energy right now is infectious. Back to Richardson. Over Edwards. And there's Richards on the assist from Curry. Curry's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And so Conley will bring it up for the Timberwolves. They trail by seven. To the middle. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. And making three of their first four shots in this half is a strong start. Oh, a huge finish. A.P., my goodness. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Outside Conley. Outside McDaniels. The three is up. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Richardson, no good. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Conley against Curry. Conley passes to Towns. Back to Conley. And it's blocked by Davis. 
<laughs> That's what happens when you challenge Davis. He can be so disruptive as a defender. Drops in the three. And now a 10-point Warrior lead. Well, that's now his third triple of the game. First here in this second half. And Chris Finch calls time out here. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. And, Coach, you've been lauded by some of your former players for your pregame preparation. I've seen it myself in the broadcasting world. Well, I've also been cursed by some of those players for my pregame walkthroughs, Brian. People thought they were way too long, but I just wanted to be as prepared as possible and was one that always believed I'd rather do too much than too little. Right around three minutes into this second half, to the left wing. Outside McDaniels. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. Yeah, the commitment to run is paying great dividends on the break. Personal foul. First team foul. And that one falls for Curry. And Curry's focus at this point in his career is clear. To keep winning championships. Towns outside. Conley passes to Gobert. To the inside. Can they get it? Edwards can't hit. Well, that's the look he wanted. But the defense doing just enough to impact that shot. Richardson for three. Gets rebounded by Minnesota. Gobert's got four rebounds now. Edwards with it. Richardson picks him up. Using the size. Gobert. Outstanding job converting in close. Gobert understands how to execute around the rim. Outside Curry. Back to Green. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Timberwolves trail by 13. Outside McDaniels. Back to Conley. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Conley's got four points this quarter. And we're so used to seeing Conley as the facilitator. But tonight, his number is being called. Richardson, that's good. Well, after dropping in two triples in the first half, he's now matched that mark here in the second half, and I wouldn't be surprised to see more of those. Back to Conley. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Conley's got 23. Yeah, Conley is turning back the clock right now. He's feeling it and staying aggressive on offense. Green, a screen. The three from Curry. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got five rebounds in the game. Defensive player of the year four times over, Stan. Rudy Gobert tied for the record. Yeah, Brian, alongside Dikembe Mutombo and Ben Wallace. And Gobert's out, capable out. of getting another one, too, assuming his countryman, Victor Wimbenyama, doesn't start taking the reins. And Steve Kerr calls time out here. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Moody comes in for Richardson. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Minnesota. The Warriors lead by 12. Outside Moody. Down low. The kick out. Curry. Curry rises up and hits the three. Well, he's going back to the arc. He might be building some momentum from range here in the second half. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian Anthony Edwards, his disposition just brightens the locker room. Coach Chris Finch said he's an absolute joy to coach. Always in a great mood and great smile. It doesn't matter if he plays well or he doesn't. Every day he has the same approach and the same attitude. And he wants to be great, Allie. There's no doubt about that. The first free throw is good. Well, respected both on and off the floor, 
Conley is one of those guys that leads by example. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, Coach, Minnesota turning back the clock last year. Most of their lineups had multiple bigs. Yeah, and we saw how effective it was, especially on defense. Minnesota led the league in defensive rating by a wide margin, and that length was a key factor. Six on the shot clock. Curry passes to Moody. From about 19, Davis can't hit. And it's Edwards with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a 13-point game. Well, just doing an excellent job defensively. Using his body to disrupt the shot and then get control of the loose ball. Minnesota has gone two for five from three since halftime. Pass to Conley. Let's it go from 14. It's rebounded by Golden State. Moody with it. He's picked up by Edwards. Outside Curry. Outside Green. Moody from outside. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Outside Conley. Pass to Edwards. Picked by Gobert. The three is up. Up again. It's good on the putback. Gobert's got four points in the quarter. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. And he lobs it up and finished off by Davis. Woo! I just love that alley -oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Timberwolves trail by 13. Outside Edwards. Towns outside. The open J off the mark. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. The three from Curry. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got rebound number eight now. Here's Conley. And he gets it to go off the front iron. Conley's got 27. Yeah, this is when they need to lean on him more. Get him the ball and let him build some momentum. And Steve Kerr calls timeout here. He wants to review the game plan. And some changes here for the Warriors. Jackson Davis has checked in for Davis. Heald comes... three-point land. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Ingles passes to Garza. Here's Towns. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Towns has got his second bucket of the night. Up top, Curry. He's got 18. The rebound by Ingles. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But we're... On the court for the Timberwolves. Conley and Ann are the one of the two. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Joe Ingles. And it's Garza in at the five down low. Well, coming out of the half, he's been much more aggressive, helping them space the floor. Pass to Garza. He shoots. Edwards, no good. The Warriors lead by 13. Davis finds Curry. Another shot. The big man, A.D., down low. You know, the best thing about A.D. is he can contribute in every statistical category. And here's Edwards. Driving inside. And stand while Edwards has pushed back. It hasn't stopped others from comparing him to his heirness, Michael Jordan. And that talk is more about how his game reminds one of MJ and less about greatness. Edwards' career is just getting started. They throw good, Edwards. 
Grant, when it comes to Anthony Edwards, fair to say he's meeting expectations so far. Oh, no question, B.A. The first overall pick in the 2020 draft, Edwards has been anything but a bust. <laughs> now we are seeing him trying to compete for titles. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Green. Rebound, Minnesota. Gobert's got nine rebounds now. Now here's Alexander Walker. He's watched by Kaminga. Downs a screen on Curry for three. Conley. Rebounded by Green. Green's got 11 rebounds in the game. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. And guys, this is why coaches value playing with pace. Yeah, they have made the most of their transition chances. Towns outside. Outside, Alexander Walker from deep. Conley on target from range. Conley's got 13 in the second half. Well, sometimes you tell players you can have a good game and a loss. You've just got to keep doing what you're doing, and the rest of us have to figure it out. Inside. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Conley's got 32 points in the game. Well, you love the unselfishness. Makes the next pass and enables his team to capitalize on the possession. Yet another assist. That makes assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Heald against Edwards. Over Heald. Rebound Anthony Davis. Davis has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. The three from Curry. Edwards pulls it in. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Let's go with a three. Kept alive. Tries again, and it's finished off by Gobert as he lays it in. Well, it's like Gobert's got magnets in his hands. He's led the league in rebounding before in his career. Davis from long range. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. The defense was just nowhere to be found, and because of that, he adds to their lead. Yeah, look, the truth is, he doesn't need much space anyway. But that one was too easy. And Chris Finch has called timeout. He was quite emphatic, demanding the timeout, clearly wanting to address strategy with his team. And some changes here for the Warriors. Wiggins, he's checked in for Kaminga. And Richardson subbed in for Heal. The Timberwolves also with a sub. McDaniels is checked in for Alexander Walker. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. They implored their guys to maintain their focus. The message was, don't commit any bad turnovers and no easy buckets. A simple message, Brian. Okay, thank you, Allie. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Towns has got five points now this quarter. The Warriors lead by nine. Richardson for three. McDaniels with the rebound. The Timberwolves shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. Edwards, no good. Might be time for a little different approach. His shot hasn't been falling here in the second half. Richardson, no good. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, it was a great look. Sometimes they don't fall. You've just got to keep taking great shots. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, their passing has been just exceptional, and it's opened up the floor for them on numerous occasions. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition, just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. 14 feet away. Richardson, that's good. Richardson's got 14 points now in the second half. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. Up top, Edwards. Guarded by Richardson. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, look, Edwards doesn't back down from anyone. He embraces getting physical on the way up. first and that narrows the gap to seven that one falls 
Jones. So he hits both of them. He showed a lot of composure that trip to the line. Now it's almost a one possession game. Curry passes to Richardson. Offline with a three. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. The three, Conley. It's rebounded by Golden State. Davis is... Pass to Richardson. To the paint. And finished off by Davis. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Timberwolves trail by eight. And they double up Edwards. McDaniels with it. Stolen by Wiggins. Oh, there's the alley. Hammers the lob through. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Warriors. They had more assist and shot the ball more efficiently. Those things tend to go hand in hand. And that's so true. Without a doubt, their ball movement was essential to winning this game. And this will get marked down as their 16th win of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And one of the league's superstars, producing as he always does. What a terrific game for Stephen Curry. We look forward to playing with someone who doesn't just move the ball, but moves it with a purpose. Outside Conley. Shot to stop the run. He buries it from three. Conley's got 35. Great feed. Edwards has such a complete game. He's much more than just a scorer. Richardson, no good. And here's Minnesota now. Trailing by 10. The three ball. The shot by Conley, no good. Outside Richardson. And stolen by Edwards. And so the Warriors take the win. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. If you're going to face some obstacles in the game, they overcame every one. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Stefan, another quality win. Is this one you can build on? For sure. We're trying to create momentum. Uh, we don't understand what it takes to win a championship. And, uh, put a nice little streak together, playing against some great teams. Uh, that's only going to continue. Uh, great challenges for us to kind of focus in on. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Stan Van Gundy, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast. And let's leave you with our player of the game, Stephen Curry.